it's going to be very tempting to use AI as a weapon. It's going to be very tempting. In fact, it will be used as a weapon. It's it's a out of control countdown. Out of control. Yeah, people call it the singularity, and uh, that's that's probably a good way to think about it. It's it's a singularity. It's hard to predict, and I talked to everyone I. Good. Who else would be the best candidate to talk about artificial intelligence if not the tech magnate himself, Elon Musk? From digging underground tunnels to flying state-of-the-art rockets using tech, he's the best man to listen to when it comes to tech. What stance does Elon Musk take? Tune in. Most of us know Elon Musk because of his pockets. The billionaire owns almost all the money in the world. However, what brings him all this money to the table? Nothing else but AI, or we could otherwise call that technology. But you will agree that there's no difference between AI and technology. It's one and the same thing. Elon Musk is the proud owner of SpaceX, which uses nothing short of the most complex space technology this world has ever known. Yet again, he owns a stream of other tech companies like Tesla, the Boring Company, and Neuralink, which plans to make human cyborgs in less than half a decade. So in an opinion about AI from a man who has his hands dirty with AI stuff can really be interesting. Is he pro or against AI? The answer to this question is pretty tricky. Everyone who knows Elon Musk understands that he holds AI development at arm's length. Despite being called a tech magnate and owning everything AI related, Musk has always been against its fast development. Quite some time back, the Tesla CEO called AI humanity's existential crisis, a stance that some people thought was crazy. But according to Musk, it is already happening. Musk believes that humans will cease to exist if we continue doing what we are doing with AI. Continual development of AI might be our undoing, but let us ask Musk why does he think AI could be that dangerous to humanity? It's going to be very tempting to use AI as a weapon. It's going to be very tempting. In fact, it will be used as a weapon. Um, so the the on, the the on ramp to serious AI. The danger is going to be more humans using it against each other. I think. We cannot be ignorant of the super-fast development of artificial intelligence. The most recent development in the arena, ChatGPT, has proven our fault in thinking that invention stopped during Einstein's time. GPT-4 took the whole world with an overwhelming surprise as to what humans can do with it. Interestingly, Elon Musk was part of the OpenAI bandwagon a few years ago. You can be sure that some of his cash went into the development of ChatGPT. However, it is for the same reason against the fast development of AI that Musk suddenly left the inventors of ChatGPT to their own game. Yet, Elon Musk is not one to sit around and fold his arms when things are not going the way he prefers. He, together with key figures in the AI space, signed an open letter warning anyone who cared to hear about the potential risks of developing AI at a fast pace. The open letter called for at least six months halt in AI development. Tech luminaries like Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak and some researchers in DeepMind signed the letter, which adds some weight to what Elon Musk warns about AI. It's also worth noting that Elon Musk's initiative is being supported by his competitors in the AI industry. Apple, for instance, has been bumper to bumper with Tesla in the tech competition, and Elon Musk hasn't had quite a smooth relationship with the Apple household. Nonetheless, we are seeing that they are somewhat concerned about AI, just as Elon Musk is. It is most likely that there are some hidden issues that are not obvious in every news outlet. A little sneak peek into the newsletter will reveal the sad truths of having rapidly advancing AI. But now, how about looking at the organization behind the open letter? The Future of Life Institute was the mind behind the open letter. It is a non-profit organization whose mission is to steer transformative technologies away from extreme, large-scale risks and toward benefiting life. Elon Musk is part of the advisory board, and we can already see that he's passionate about what he's doing. Now, the letter from FLI recorded, AI systems with human competitive intelligence can pose profound risks to society and humanity. Talking of risks, what risks can we anticipate when AI is involved? And you feel like this is decades away or years away from being too late. If you have this fatalistic attitude and you yeah. feel like it's going, we're in a almost like a doomsday countdown. It's not necessarily a doomsday countdown. It's it's a... Out of control countdown? Out of control, yeah. People call it the singularity. And uh, that's that's probably a good way to think about it. It's, it's a singularity. It's hard to predict, like a black hole. 
what what happens past the event horizon. Right. It's so difficult. once it's implemented, it's very difficult because it it will once be able to. Once the genie's out of the bottle, what's right. going to happen? Recent months have ushered in cutting-edge tech that have left many people thinking about AI's possibility of attaining sentience. The thing is sort of out of control. The open letter put clearly that recent months have seen AI labs locked in an out-of-control race to develop and deploy even more powerful digital minds that no one, not even their creators, can understand, predict, or reliably control. This is the self-same issue that Elon Musk has been raising for over a decade now. The words of his prophecy are being fulfilled right before our eyes. The creators of GPT-4 confirmed a truth about AI risk when they observed that GPT-4 had done feats, some of which they never predicted. Plus, nowadays, it's becoming common for AI inventors to say that their robots are achieving some strange things that were previously not designed for, which is risky. Well, that is not to say that AI is entirely bad, as is the case. AI has increased the productivity of most jobs. Nevertheless, that still has a downside. With millions of automated jobs comes massive layoffs and unemployment. It is estimated that AI will directly affect 300 million jobs across the globe. Companies like Twitter, Microsoft, and Tesla had already laid off many of their employees just around the time when ChatGPT was released. If this trend continues, we won't be wrong to conclude that AI might entirely replace some jobs. The best question to ask here is, is the world prepared for AI? Elon Musk thinks we are not. Um, I met with Congress. I met with, I, I was at a meeting of all 50 governors and talked about just AI danger. And I talked to everyone I could. No one seemed to realize where this was going. Imagine developing non-human minds that might eventually outnumber and outsmart humanity. It's almost impossible to stand a chance. Elon Musk, however, has a well-thought-out solution for all humanity. It's something you already know and might be advocating for. Regulation. AI regulation is Musk's best approach to the rapid advancement of AI. Elon Musk is, by nature, against regulation. He is not such a good friend of the cops or any regulatory bodies because he just hates it. Yet when it comes to AI, the gentleman is ready to comply with its rules. Musk explained that regulation would ensure that any dangerous AI that is coming up is sort of controlled and doesn't get out of hand. We've seen how much ChatGPT has impacted the world tremendously in less than a year in both good and bad ways. The good side is obvious, unless you live in a different civilization. Yet the bad side has led to misinformation and a slow but sure way of crushing democracy intelligently. Stuart Russell, a computer science professor at the University of California, said AI systems pose significant risks to democracy through weaponized disinformation, to employment through the displacement of human skills, and to education through plagiarism and demotivation. The open letter which Musk backed with umph called upon governments to step in and appoint new and capable regulatory authorities dedicated to AI. Governments like the US, UK, and EU were all called upon to put forward a dedicated regulatory authority for AI. However, the UK ruled out ever having such. As the struggle continued, Elon Musk talked about his plan B, which is making another AI by the name Truth GPT. As the name suggests, this AI will tell you nothing but the truth. The Tesla CEO plans to come up with a chat GPT competitor, only this one will be more reliable in telling fewer errors. And if you were just about to think that Musk is crazy, you would be surprised at how much people were waiting for his truth GPT. Elon Musk doesn't just stop there. He plans to make humanity ready for AI using his Neuralink technology, which will involve planting chips into the human brain. Neuralink has so far made strides that we will soon be having humans having chips in their heads. Musk promised that this would be the best bid for humanity to make greater advancements than AI. Otherwise, Elon Musk still holds his original idea that the best way to remove AI risk is by regulation. And sure enough, that's the only reasonable way out in mitigating AI risk. Let's end it with Professor Russell's words. In the long run, taking sensible precautions is a small price to pay to mitigate these risks. Do you think it's time we initiated AI legislations for the safety of humanity in the future? Feel free to share your views in the comments section below. To this end, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can always get a notification when we post the latest and most exciting tech news and space news that you would not want to miss.